Here is the same test with the final four cameras. The Arlo Pro 2 is the first one that picks me up as I come out of the garage. Hi everyone, my name is Anika and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Thank you so much for watching. We have done several videos on various cameras and we thought it would be a good test to see how responsive they are. Especially if someone walks towards your door and steals your package, you want to make sure you have them on camera. Now I'm going to try and steal this package right from my front doorsteps and see if any of these cameras catch me in the act or don't catch me. Before we get into this video, all that I ask is that you subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon to be notified, which will also notify you when we go live during our live streams. Now, if you shop on Amazon, you can help us out by using any of our links down below like this one right here and for other countries, we put links in every one of our videos. Finally, supporting us on Patreon allows you to see videos weeks before anyone else, videos not on YouTube and exclusive photos and Instagram pics. I will test how the response times compare with the various cameras we've tested over the years. Since the motion sensitivity is different on almost all cameras, I'll do different tests using low and maximum sensitivities. I'll be testing eight different cameras at once. Let's walk outside and I'll show you how to set it up. All right guys, so we have all eight cameras right over here. Now we have the S cam over there. We got the ring floodlight. We got the ring doorbell. We've also got the QC entry cam, the Eufy cam E, the Love View One Link, Arlo Pro 2, and the Arlo Pro. So for my first test, I will show you my settings on each camera. On the Ring Video Doorbell Pro, I will set the sensitivity to all activity. I will also expand the motion zone to include everywhere except for the street. I will also do the same settings for the Ring Floodlight Camera. On the S-Cam Floodlight Camera, I will set the motion alert to max and also set the motion zones to include everywhere except the street. So on the QC Entry Camera here, I also don't have it triggered on the street, so I set the sensitivity to max here. These next four are my wireless cameras and you can't draw out a motion area because they run on batteries. However, if you plug in your Arlo Pro 2, you can draw out a motion area, but I'm not going there. I'll treat them all equal as 100% wireless cameras. I'll start with the Arlo Pro and turn up the sensitivity to 100%. I will also do the same with the Arlo Pro 2. I will do the same on the Eufy Cam E by making the sensitivity level to 100% again. And finally, on the Love You One Link, I'll set the sensitivity to high. Now that the sensitivity are at the highest settings for each camera, I'll do a test and try to steal this package I have on my doorsteps. I will start with the Ring Doorbell Pro, the Ring Floodlight, the QC Entry Cam, and the Arlo Pro. I will display four cameras at a time as all eight would be too small to see. You will notice the cameras catch me as soon as I start walking from out of the garage and all the way up to the doorsteps. If someone was to steal my package, I would definitely have them on camera. These next four cameras are the Arlo Pro 2, the Eufy Cam E, the S Cam Floodlight, and the Love You One Link. The cameras come on a different time um, as I walk into the paths of the camera. The Arlo Pro 2 comes on first as soon as I walk out of the garage. The Eufy Cam E comes on right after and then the S Cam Floodlight and the Love You One Link cameras come on as I'm stepping on the doorstep. They all catch me in the act as I pick up the package, but you can see some catch me earlier in the process. As you can see, I'm close to the street and when I put the cameras on the high sensitivity, I was getting false alarms like crazy. However, not all the cameras, the cameras plugged into the power where I can draw out a motion zone with a box were fine. So I didn't get any false alerts. However, the cameras powered by batteries can't draw motion zones as their batteries will drain much faster and are more acceptable for false alerts. Now I will test this again, but I'm going to reduce the sensitivity this time to lower ends of the scale. 
I'll show you them all at once. I either made it to people only or low. Or where there's a number, I didn't make it to zero, but 20%. Now with all the cameras at a lower setting, I'll try and steal the package again. I'm starting again with the same four cameras. The only thing that is different are my clothes and I lower the sensitivity settings on all of them. You can see there isn't an issue with any of them picking me up as they come out of the garage. The cameras catch me as soon as they come into view and all the way up to the door set. If someone were to steal my package, I would definitely have them on camera. Here is the same test with the final four cameras. The Arlo Pro 2 is the first one that picks me up as I come out of the garage. The S-Cam floodlight and the Eufy Cam pick me up as I'm on the porch. You will also notice the LaView One Link stopped recording as I walked out from the door. To summarize this, they all did catch me stealing the package, which is good. Because of our situation being so close to the street, I prefer a camera which has the ability to draw out a motion zone. We replaced our Ring Video Doorbell 2 with the Ring Pro for this reason, and our doorbell has stopped receiving false alerts. Now, have you ever had an experience where someone took a package off your doorstep and the camera didn't start recording until they were halfway down the driveway? Let me know in the comments down below if that has happened to you guys. This is not the end, so don't go anywhere. Stop right there. I ask that you please share this video if you found it useful. Also, here are the videos on the right and there is our latest video on the top here and the one that I recommend just for you is here at the bottom and I'll see you guys next time. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching.